Hi there. So what I'm going to do in this video is talk through how you can export your data from Kobo Toolbox and actually import it into Power BI so that you can start to visualize and create dashboards out of your Kobo Toolbox data. I would love it if you subscribe to this channel. I put out regular content for humanitarian and development workers on how to work with their data, especially using data from Kobo Toolbox uh, and using Power BI, Excel, or QGIS uh, in order to work with that data. Come on, let's get started. So here in front of me, what I have open is my Kobo Toolbox account. And this is just a test account that I use for testing uh, lots of different um, questions that people send me. So what I'm going to do is open this project right here, test analysis data. And this is a fairly simple form. Uh, so we just have a bunch of a few questions and a bunch of data in there. And it's all fake data. So you can um, use this yourself. Um, and what I'm going to do is go to data and downloads and just export my data. I'll export it into XLS. Um, that will just come down here and it will bring up a little icon and I'll download that. So once that's downloaded, um, I can open it up. It'll open up in Excel. Okay, so it's opened in Excel. Uh, so we can kind of see that there's not very much data in there, uh, just a few columns plus um, some of the metadata columns. So there's just four main questions, gender, age, village, and monthly income. Uh, so what I'm gonna do actually now is I'm gonna save this in a location where I want my Power BI uh, file to um, bring it in from. So I'm gonna enable editing. I'll go to file and save as, and I'll save that. Okay, so I've saved that in the location uh, where I want to pull it in from. So now what I'm going to do is open Power BI. So let's open that up. Okay, so Power BI has just brought this uh, little screen up. I don't really want to use this. I'm just gonna close this and I'm just gonna start from my blank Power BI uh, canvas. And what I'm gonna do up here is just go to click on this transform data button. And it will just bring up uh, something called the Power Query Editor, okay? And from here, I can uh, kind of have some fun bringing in data. Now, we're gonna do a very simple import from that uh, file that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna go up here to New Source. And if I click this little down arrow, it'll bring up an Excel um, option. So click on that. And then you want to go find um, the file that you um, just looked at or just saved. So let's go find that. Okay, so we're here and I'm going to select that file and say open. And what it's going to do is it's just going to grab a snapshot of that data. So it's not importing it yet. It won't import it until we tell it to, um, but it'll just open that up and we can play with the data um, if we want to before we bring it up. So it's brought this uh, navigator up and we can see that within that file, it sees that there's one table. So if we click on that um, workbook or worksheet, and we'll just um, bring up a preview, that's what we want to bring in. So again, it still hasn't imported it to our project. It's just, um, it's just bringing it into the Power Query so we can play with it a little bit, okay? Now in the Power Query, what we can do is we could do anything like renaming our columns. So maybe I, I just want to take away those uh, col uh, colons there. Uh, okay. Uh, start and end. Uh, ID, UID, submission time. Validation status. I actually just want to delete that column. So I can right click on that and click remove. Um, index is good. Let's take away, because this was um, a fake data set generated automatically, then I'm actually going to just delete the start and end because I don't really need those. So once I've cleaned up the data set so it looks like I just have the main columns that have good data in them, I think I'm ready to go. Then what I'm going to do is click close and apply. And at this point, 
it takes that data that you've um, brought in through your Power Query and it actually imports it into your data model. Uh, so that is great. And what you'll see, it, it will just load that data. And what you'll see over on the right hand side is you'll see the fields or the columns that have been brought in from that data. So you see these columns over here. We have ID, index, mission, ID, and then age, gender, month, name, and village. Over on the left hand side, you can take a look at the data itself. So that little table means we can go and check the data out. Okay, so there we see the table of data. And then over here on the side, if you click on model, if we had more than one column, this is where we could actually create a model of the data um, and how different tables relate to one another. For right now, we're just bringing in that one table. So uh, that's, that's uh, all we're gonna see there. And here is where you can really get started in, in trying to create some interesting um, visualization. So for example, if we have a bunch of villages, I mean, you could have a visualization with a bar chart and drag in the village to the um, values. And even over on the axis. And you can actually then see that we have a count of the number of village or each village and how many um, villages are represented in the data for each one. So very simply, uh, you can start to really bring in your data and visualize it quite simply. Um, and that is how you import a very simple table into Power BI and start to visualize it. I hope that was helpful. I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up if uh, that's helpful for you. And Hey, if you're a humanitarian or development worker and you want to learn more about how to use tools to manage your own data, then subscribe to the channel and I hope we'll uh, meet again in the near future um, and, and uh, that this is helpful and yeah. Okay, talk soon. Bye. Yeah.